Okay, so what we have here is curb ports. And what curb ports is, is tells it's basically current ports that you're using. And it tells you the local port that you're using and the remote port that you're using. Some of the names, some of the ports have names like 443 is HTTPS, secure, web browser, 80, port 80 is HTTP, web browser, web browser. And it also tells you the protocol which you're using, which is either TCP or UDP. There's only really two types that are common. It tells you the process IP, which could be found also in your task manager. The process is right here. And it also tells you the remote host name, which you're basically what you're connected to. And the process path, which tells you what the application, where it's found on your computer. So only the applications would have, actually have process paths. All the systems, they wouldn't really have process paths. Also, most of the system files, system ports, they actually connect back to your computer. See, 127 to 127. Not most of your system files shouldn't be connecting to outer ones like this. This is actually web browser. And how you can tell what this is, is you can just right click and you can copy selected items. Or actually you can copy remote IP address, open up a new browser, and then uh, let me just open up a new browser right here. Paste in that IP address with right click paste, uh, which didn't work. Okay. Let's go back and right click again and you want to copy the remote IP address again. And yeah, you want to paste that IP address up there and go ahead and push go ahead and it doesn't really exist. So that's probably a null connection. So you can see all these are in the same first three digits, 209.18.39.83, but the last ones are different. So this really probably is not established, which it says right here, time wait. So it's not really established. You can also see if it's established, like up here, um, Digsby is established, or if it's listening. Probably, I am, I have one one right here. So you can see if it's listening. That's about it of curb ports, and also, you can close certain ports, which is very helpful. If perhaps these unknowns on the bottom, if they actually were established and not a time wait, you can right click and you can kill the process of the selected ports. So that's good for certain things. You don't really know what they are. So you can go ahead and go to nursesoft.net, actually, not .com, .net, and you can get this software. And it's really good because you can close IP ports. I mean, you can close ports, close processes without really messing up anything and without going inside task manager if you need a more user-friendly thing so have fun with it